Now in this section I want to talk about corners and chamfers and how you can add this to your profile. So I go to for example YZ plane and click on sketch and now I am aligned to YZ plane. I select a very simple rectangle and draw it here. Now you can see I have four lines available. I deselect this and I go to operation tool set or I can go to insert operations and select corner from here. Uh, whenever I selected this, I should select two lines that are adjacent to each other. So I want to select this one and this one. You can see the third click will determine where the corner is going to be placed. I want to place it right here. And now you can see that there is a constraint added to this corner that is the radius of this corner. I will double click on this and I decide to have it about 25 millimeter in radius. So I hit enter and you can see that the shape changes to apply your shade. Now the next thing is adding a chamfer. Again, like corner, we can add a chamfer by selecting one line, the adjacent line to the first line, and you can see that I can press the you know mouse button to place my chamfer at any place. So I click here, and now you can see that there is a 45 degree angle by default added to my shape. I can change this degree at any time. For example, I want to have it 30 degrees, so I decide to change it, and I want to make this a little bit smaller. And of course, you can see another constraint here, and that's the size of the line that is used to create the chamfer. I want to make it about 20 millimeters, so I type in 20 and hit enter, and you can see that this changes the chamfer to your desire. Now, I have more tools available here. I press Ctrl and left arrow key to pan to left. And now I want to show you how you can mirror something. Here in Operation Toolbar, again, uh, going to Insert and Operations will tell you the Operation Toolbar. You can see that we have Transformation Set. And Mirror is one of these, Symmetry is the other. And these are the things that you can use to mirror something. I want to have an axis here, so I go to operation, to, to profile, and click on axis. This axis is not going to be used to create any shape. It is just an axis and it is going to be used as a reference line. So I click to have axis here, for example. And now that I have created this axis, I want to add another profile here. For example, I want to have uh, an arc. Uh, for this, I go under circle and select, a, for example, simple arc here. So I click here for the first line and I go here for the first endpoint. And now I have this here for the second endpoint. So I have this arc here. Now this is selected. I go to operations and go to transformation and select mirror. Now the only thing that I need to select is the axis of, you know, mirroring. And this is the axis that I want to select. And you can see that the mirror of this line is created in the opposite side of the axis. Now, you should not have an axis for this. I can use any line to mirror. For example, I press Ctrl key and uh, right arrow key to mirror, to, to pan to the right. And I select this whole thing using a uh, marquee selection. And you can see that everything is selected here. I go and select the mirror tool. And now the axis is going to be selected. I, I, I prefer to have this line as my axis. And you can see that this line is not going to be selected because this is selected previously. So I click in a blank area. I hit escape to get out of this. And again, I use the marker key to selection to select everything. I press Ctrl key and click on this, so this is going to be deselected. So I have everything selected except this line. I go to Mirror, click on this, and now the only thing that I need to select is the axis. So I can select this, you, you can see that whenever I click on this, there is a mirror of what I have selected in the opposite side of the shape. So this is the use of mirroring, cornering, and chamfering.